So what's good, y'all? We back with another video. And we are back talking once again about the two stars of the 2023 NBA draft class. Now, obviously, there's a lot of other players in the 2023 class, but there is none like these two. And obviously, if you watched the game yesterday, you know what I'm going to be talking about. Victor Wambanyama versus Scoot Henderson. Now, let's just say that this game, this game was so good that if these guys have great NBA careers like they could, this game could end up being like LeBron versus Melo in high school kind of vibes. Like, that's how good this game was. And starting off with Scoot Henderson, he started off first. He was really hot at the beginning. He was absolutely killing up with the, the athleticism and the ability to even knock down shots. You know, he was doing a whole bunch of things that good quality NBA guards would do, which is get into the teeth of the defense and play to your strengths. And that's exactly what he was doing. There was even a possession where Victor Wimbanyama, mind you, seven foot four, seven foot five, whatever he is, he goes right around him in midair, lays it up for a reverse layup. You know how hard that is to do? That's tough to do, especially in a guy with that kind of length. It's just amazing what Scoot Henderson can do around the rim, especially at six foot three. He's a smaller guard and very impressive game. Very impressive game from Scoot Henderson. And right now, any of these guys could be the number one pick. That's how good both of these guys are. Now, obviously, Victor Wambanyama, I still think, is the number one guy, mainly because potential. Like, if you want to go by safer pick, then Scoot Henderson is the safer pick, and it's more likely that his career will pan out the way it should. But Victor Wambanyama's potential, he might legitimately, and I'm not even lying, I might have to agree with some of the, the things that these people were saying about him. He might end up being the best prospect since LeBron James. That's how good this man is and we're going to talk about him right now because in the first half kind of started off a little slow but he wasn't that bad and then in the second half the things he was doing amazing it was an amazing performance in the second half mind you in the first half he had a possession where he brought the ball up the court crossed the dude over spun around laid it up he was in threes and in the second half he just started spraying them with threes Knocked down 7 for the game, 7 for 11 from downtown, 11 for 20 overall, 37 points, 5 blocks. This man is a generational prospect. Generational. He's better than Chet Holmgren. Chet Holmgren was good in Gonzaga last year, but this man is different. This guy literally, wherever he goes, if he can stay healthy, there's a very good chance this man is going to end up being like a high talented player like a high level talented player I'm talking about nba superstar caliber guy and i'm talking about quick now obviously the frame you know still a little concerning he's still extremely skinny but it happens you know he'll figure that out as he goes but the things he can do is crazy like he has me jaw dropped every time i watch him perform and he had me jaw dropped once again. Man was trending on Twitter. Scoot Henderson was trending on Twitter. He was all over social media. That's how good this game was. And to be honest, the second half is what really carried it. Because in the first half, the G League Ignite team was really like just putting it on him. And in the second half, I mean, Victor Wambanyama literally was bringing them dudes back to life. And almost won them the game. He fouled out at the end. And they lost by seven. But great performance. I mean... Obviously, this draft class is extremely talented, but in my opinion, there's no question who should go one and two. There's no, you know, there's no wrong answer. If you pick Scoot Henderson number one because you feel like you need a guard, not a bad pick. If you pick Victor Wambanyama because you see the potential, it's obviously not a bad pick. That's how good both of these guys are. Their careers, sky's the limit. That's how talented that, you know, these players are. And it's crazy because, you know, these guys are extremely young. Like, they're 18 years old, and they're just getting started. That's the thing. Like, think about 18-year-olds, you know, around the world. These dudes, a lot of 18-year-olds in previous NBA history, they were never, like, this good going into the draft. These guys are ready to ball out right now. 
That's how talented Scoot Henderson and Victor Wambanyama are. And I'm going to be extremely excited for the NBA 2023 draft because whoever drafts either of these two guys has the chance to get their franchise changed quick. Anyways, that's going to do it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Link will be down in the description below. This has been a checkup where we talk hoops and hoops only. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.